Hello everyone and welcome to the STB Racing League Season 25 Belgium Grand Prix. Live from the Circuit Spa Francochon here for round 11 of the STB Season 25 campaign. We're here this week at the iconic Spa Circuit in Belgium. A track that is preferred by the drivers um, that race on the games. It, it's a lot more favoured than Mexico last week. So, we have done all tracks on the game uh, now. So, the drivers are going to be quite um, optimised now around the, around the tracks that we've got left. Next week is a very, very special week for STB. We do celebrate our 10-year anniversary next week. I can't fucking wait. But it is Kisatilla that takes pole position in um, Belgium. Second is Jay Snowy. Third is Brainy Cactus. Fourth is Mick. Fifth is STB Semike. Sixth is Callum. Seventh is Yare Santiago. Uh, eighth is Joey. Ninth is Toby. Tenth, Sleek Move Up. He's back with us this evening. Same with Ibrahim Yavas. Hypnos is reserving P11. Twelfth is Crooken. Thirteenth is The Bird. Fourteenth is Mafio. And 15th, after a crash in the pits in qualifying, it is, th it is Tholo 4. That is your guy in P15. So, yes, you can expect a few uh, smaller lobbies now that we're here at the base of the end now of F123. It's been a very um, entertaining year. It's It's been a year of highs. It's been a, a year of lows. But the next three weeks, I think, are going to be some great races. Um, and it starts off at Spa. The championship is quite um, close as well in Tier 1. Let me get that up. Um, so, STB Semi-K leads the championship with 113. Then, 8 points adrift, it is Tharlow, 105. And then, it's Jay Snowy on 104. So, the next three races are going to be absolutely critical. And it's Tharlow. He needs to get through this pack as quickly as possible. If he wants to try and win the Grand Prix. Well, not win the Grand Prix, but um, claw back the positions because he's in the championship fight. Second place in the standings. Uh, I don't really know about the strategy. Are we back? Controller disconnected there. We love that. Uh, very sorry about that, guys. Uh, strategy is going to be quite um, varied, I think. Some drivers are going to go for hard, some drivers are mediums, and some drivers are going to go for the soft. So it's going to be very varied. It's going to be quite varied in terms of who's going to go on what uh, compound or tyre. I don't think there's any rain expected either, so it's going to be a nice dry uh, race, as though it's an online services error, apparently. But no, we are racing here in Belgium for round 11 of the World Championship Tier 1. It's lights out, and away they go in Spa. And it is Attila who's going to go into Turn 1, but Jay Snowy is into Turn 1, and he's going to take the lead of the Belgian Grand Prix now as they go as they go up the hill now. It is Jay Snowy that leads, being a bit of contact down at the back there. Not too much, though. They're all through uh, in one piece. Up the famous Eau Rouge Rally on section now. And it is absolutely incredible to see these drivers go down the straight. But Jay Snowy is going to be under pressure. And look at the Alpha. Look at the Haas. We've got Yale coming, coming down now with the overtake mode. And they're all going side by side. And Jay Snowy has been able to, well, bridge a bit of a gap. But uh, Attila is second. Third is Yale after an incredible slipstream situation. Callum's up to P6. They're going to try and go around the outside of Mick at the hairpin. He can't seem to get that done. Um... But side by side, it's Mick now versus Santiago as they come down to Puyon. And then you've got Callum following closely behind them as well. Then you've got Joey and Sem. Sem's down to P8. He needs to get these positions as quickly as he can. Tharlow's still in P15. Oh, this race could well be a DRS train. I'm not going to lie. The drivers are looking pretty, pretty close. 
in terms of pace on this first lap of the Belgian Grand Prix. But Sem is right on the chuff now of Joey, who's going to get right in the slipstream now of Callum as they come down to Wanshiman. You've got Mafio coming through. He's on the soft compound attire. He's going to go around the outside there of... Hypnos, there's been some contact. That's Sleek and Toby coming through the funnel chicane. That's the bus stop. Side by side, down into turn one. Fucking hell, it's, it's never ending tonight. And Sleek Mover's going to have to defend the position to Toby. Toby's got the inside for the one uh, for the uh, last source corner. And he's going to get now on the overtake mode. And he's going to get that move done. He's up to P number nine now. And Sleek's struggling to get through this field. But everyone is still in... DRS range of one another so it's definitely very closely contested and I think Callum's trying to get a move done on Mick here but look at the possible strategy it is potentially a one-stop race soft to medium or it's a medium to hards um, so we'll see how the soft runners get through Tharlow's up to P12 now on those hard compound of tyres only four drivers are on the hards get these moves quick he's got to get the positions uh sems past joey all right now it's going to be drs situation see the strategy again let's see so the gap to p1 and 2 is five tenths and Attila seems to be catching. He's definitely good with that ERS, is Attila. And now it's just going to be DRS, DRS this, from this lap on. Jason Ovi's trying to br uh, trying to break out of that DRS. Toby picks up a pen. Is Yale going to try and go for a move on Brainy? No. But now Attila needs to stay in that DRS through this middle sector of the lap. Some action here. We've got uh, side by side action. Sleep Mover and Toby. Throw up to Pouillon. Is it Pouillon? Pouillon? Pouillon. Should, should we just call it Pouillon? Like the, the Spanish footballer. I think that's banging, to be fair. I think, I think that's a great name. And Toby's had a bit of a slow section there. And Sleep's going to try and get the up and under on him. As so they come through this section of track now. Yeah, Sleep's a lot quicker than Toby at the minute. Online services error. There's no online services error. And Sleek's off the track. It's going to get very, very, very um, bunched up in this section of track at the bus stop. And there's been some contact there. That's Sleek and Crooken. I think that's Starlow going to be absolutely shitting himself through that section of track. He does need to get past these drivers as, um, as quickly as he can. Up the hill they go then. Yeah, you can see. And that's Sleek up to P6. And Joey, there's going to be some contacts, I think, through this section. Side by side, Callum and Joey. Callum's off the track, side by side. And Joey's going to get that move done up to P7 in this Grand Prix. And Darlow is still stuck behind this uh, gaggle of cars. Needs to get a move on. 
They're all still in DRS, so it's it's very weird because round this track, the longest track on the calendar, of course, as well, the drivers are keeping in that DRS. So I'm not particularly... I, I, I'm not sure, but they're all in the DRS of, what, of one another. It's a 15-car DRS train, so... Um, yeah, it's not too bad. We'll have all the DRS trains. Toby seems to be sliding through that final corner. Toby's lost that DRS now. A crooker needs to get this move done, but we're going to look now to Attila, who's going to have the DRS. Yale's going to come through as well with those lower wings. And I think Jay Snowy is about to get, but is Yale going to lead? No, just going to be P2 here. And Jay Snowy's lost those positions. He's down, and Toby now P. Oh, yeah, so that's Starlow up to P11. Toby's struggling with that back end, it looks like, as well. Definitely slowed um, them down here. So, uh, Crooken and Starlow got a lot of work to do to try and get themselves back up to this train. Car off the track. All, right, all Thala needs to do is stay in that um, that slipstream, get the DRS, and he's got the move on Crooken, and then he's got to just try and gain that time. But because Callum is in this DRS train, he's got all the slipstream effect from the four drivers ahead of him. And now Mick is actually in back in that DRS now. So the top, you've got the top four. Then you've got Sam, Brainy Cactus, Joey, Sleek and Callum. And then you've got Crooken and Darlow. But Darlow needs to get this move done now. Down this next straight. Needs to get the move done. And then find a way to try and gain. Catch 2.6 seconds. Up to P6 is Sleek and have a go. Callum's dropped to P9. And Sleek's going to do it on the inside of the hairpin. Side by side, going to force his way through. Bloody hell. And he's, yeah, he's done it. Bloody hell, smoked him around the out. I love when the control is connected and Bird has retired and the safety car has been deployed here in Spa. Safety car is out. Well, I don't know what's happened there. I haven't got a clue. Right then, let's see. So they're all in. Everyone's in. Mick has stayed out on those hard compound tyres. Can the mediums go to the end? Mafio's gone on hards. 
Callum's on to hard. Sleek's on to hard. Joey's on hard. Yale's on hard. So most of the grid now have gone on to hard tyres. And it's only Ibrahim, Darlo, and Kisatilla that's on the medium. And Mick is on a set of hards. And he's stayed out. So maybe he's trying to go long into this race for a set of softs. But he's lost a lot of time. He's lost a pit stop now. You know, he's lost that free pit stop situation. Yeah, safety cars, they're a bit boring, aren't they? There's not much to say. All I can say is, um, you could see what Jay Snowy was doing with his brakes. You could see the same what Attila's doing as well. They're braking and accelerating at the same time, obviously, to get the tyre temperatures, something that everyone knows, knows to do now on this game, and it definitely works. Um, I like doing that, to be fair. It's better than weaving. And Sem is still weaving his tyres. Weaving, though, it, bring, it um, causes wear to the tyre. So um, you don't really want to be weaving, to be honest. I don't know whether it, it's going to be the same next game. Uh, there are There is a different tyre model, of course. Um, but I don't think the accelerating and the braking is going to work next game, according to what I've heard. So the drivers are definitely going to have to just... Um, I don't know, just a new game. It's just it's just exciting times. Although there have been some um, not very good things from like the beta and, and stuff like that. It's not really been an incredible reception for the new game. But uh, we are running once again uh, on the new game. So F124 Season 26. So... To join us for that details will be coming soon but um it's just been f123 it's really just been it's been a decent game um yeah it's just been it's been good it's been a good year of racing obviously it's a, it's a special one we are celebrating our 10 year anniversary next week um which is going to be absolutely monumental every every single year it, it, it it's it's monumental, but this season is going to be absolutely crazy. And it all kicks off next week at Monza Tier 1 on Monday. Um, and it's just going to be a week of just joy, remembering every moment in the league, honouring those that have, that have been here, left us, are still with us. Every single driver is responsible for the league being 10 years old next week. So we are... Nine years and 51 weeks old. One more week and we are officially a decade running league. So th this is really just... It's really just giving what needs to be gave. Um, just It's just giving. Right then. And the, oh, the bad thing also about this track is... Because it's so long, the safety car is even longer. Which means the safety car is just boring. I don't know what it is, but something just really irks me about the safety car. Just it's boring. Well, then, um, Mick's going to lead us on to lap nine of the Belgian Grand Prix. And he's gone. He has gone. He has bolted. He used that overtake as well. But he does have 
eight lap old hards now. You can see Attila's grip and Mick's just going to let him through. Not going to battle, not going to challenge. He's just going to let him through. Not put up too much of a fight. Right, talking about too much of a fight. Darlow needs to get on it and he's, he's done the overtake on Crooken. So he's got past him. off. Sem's trying to go around the outside of his teammate, Mick. Looks had a bit of a moment there on the rear brakes. some reason, Mick is battling his teammate. That's interesting. Right then. Sleek. Oh, God. In the slipstream. He's got past Mick. Mick, I think, just letting everyone through. He knows he doesn't have the tyres at this stage. And Sleek on the inside. God, it's aggressive. And that's Dolo up to P8. Dolo's got the move done on those guys. So he's making quick inroads here on this pack of drivers. He just needs to just keep it consistent. And, uh, well, don't spin. But at the minute, he's he's got the top three in his sights here in Spa. to try and beat Sem. Attila's out the picture now, so all it, all it really matters is about beating Sem in this race. That's all Darlow and Jay Snowy need to do is beat Sem in this race. Callum's going to let Dolo through. Ooh. Bit tense, this. Don't really know what to say or what to do, but I do know what's going to happen because Yare is looking pretty quick now in that... Uh, well, he's used a lot of ERS, to be fair. That's it, Tholo. You keep in that DRS. Absolutely crucial that you keep in the DRS. Right, here we go then. Steve's going to go for the move for P5. At the Spa Grand Prix. Side by side, pulls out, and he's going to get the move done. Or is he? Because Joey's going to come back at him. For some reason, Dolo's dropped out of that DRS. He's got back in now, eight tenths. Six tenths now. Just those mediums through that middle sector. So much better than the hards at this stage in the Grand Prix. So 
Yeah, Sleek's got more ERS than Yale and uh, Sem. In the slipstream. I can just imagine the party right now. It's like... I don't know, it's just mental. Right, don't need to try and get this move done. Up the hill. DRS. Using that overtake mode. Here we go then. Is this going to be the move for Tharlo? Yeah, easy move. And that's Sleek side by side. we got Yale side by side now with Joe uh, Jay Snowy. And he's got the move done. And Darlow's up to P6 now in this race. It is kicking off now in terms of the championship. I think Darlow's going to be telling Sleek, back him up, back him up. Both all on very similar ERS modes. Or percentages, rather. Basically, 21, 24. You can tell the pressure's getting to Tharlo. He's just um, really binned it on the curb. Can my controller not disconnect, please, mid-battle? Sam is going to try and go around the outside of the McLaren. He's really doing a good hold-up job here. I'll tell you that for free. He's definitely holding him up. Wow for Tharlo. Just hear it. Back him up, back him up. Here we go. Darlo is going to pull to the inside. He's going to pull to the outside line on the grass. It's going to be three wide down the straight. Darlo needs to get this position now. He needs to get the move done and he's done it. He's up to P4. That is fucking crucial. That is apps. That is a crucial move. But Darlo 4 needs to keep it though. That is a fucking crucial move. And he's got Joey on his inside. Darlo, don't you dare fucking lose this position. You need to you need to keep this position here in Spa Francochon. Side by side for Tapuyan. You need to keep this position, uh, Darlo. Okay. It is fucking kicking off. And Sem's around the outside now. It's fucking kicking off here at Spa. Here we go, Darlo on the fucking inside of the corner. Jesus Christ. Side by side. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Here we go then. Sem's back in the slip stream. He's closing. He's closing. There's going to be a collision. There's going to be a collision. I can tell. That 13 of the Belgian Grand Prix and Sleek's on the inside of Semi K. Side by side. Dollar's going to have the DRS down this straight. And Sleek's going to go back on the inside of Sem. It's going to force Sem wide. And that's going to give now Callum the opportunity up the hill. Bloody hell, tier one. Mick has retired from the race. He's fucked it. Up the hill now. we got fucking Sleek. Trying to defend from semi -K. And then you've got Darlo. Oh, it's all kicking off. And Sem, Sem, here we go. Fucking hell. Proper kicking off. Everything is kicking off here. At spot. Fucking hell.
All right, Dollar's going to have um, Slipstream on Joey now. This is nerve-wracking stuff. Nerve-wracking stuff here in, here at Belgium. So as it stands at the moment, as in before this Grand Prix, um, the top three were separated by nine points. So, Jason Obi 15. I think Sem... There's been a collision. That's uh, Callum. Callum's had contact. And Hypnose is going to go up the hill, the hill, side by side. And he's got the move done. Oh, my God. And there's a driver off the track as well. That's Crook and getting involved. Brain is in a slipstream. Toby's going to get involved as well. Into um, Le Com. Bloody hell, it's all kicking off. And the best Williams has had to go across the track. Bloody hell. I don't know what happened there at turn one. Fucking out, it's kicking off. Lap 15. It's been like a never ending. Apart from the safety car, it's been a never ending. Just battles everywhere, carnage. Absolute carnage here at Spa. Bentalo saved a bit of VRS up. Slipstream is so powerful around this track. <laughs> so fucking powerful. Right, DRS again. Jason is also uh, in the DRS of Yale Santiago as well. So that's going to be a battle to look for. It is all for the championship, ladies and gentlemen. All for the world championship. Next week is, is the uh, penultimate round at Monza. So do join us for that. It is the STB 10-year anniversary as well. It's going to be absolute carnage. The, the scenes are really going to be seen in next week. Talking about scenes, Thalo needs to get this move done. There has to be a move made by Thalo. He has to get P4 in this race. Is it, if it stands at the minute, it's a good good set of points that he'd get over Sem. So that's 12, 6. That's 6 points. So he'd still be behind, I think. But, you know, it's about gaining the points. He's definitely got the he's definitely got the pace over Joey at the moment. There's been contact. That's Ibrahim. And Santiago has actually been overtaken by Jay Snowy now. Okay. Right, DRS once again then. And Sleek's had a massive moment out of that corner. Right, it's going to be DRS. And Brainy has retired from the race. Well, there you go. See you next week at Monza. Right. Um, yeah, here we go then. Pretty straightforward move, I reckon. Up the hill here. Jason, he's lost the position to Yale. Santiago now. And Dollar's going to have that DRS. Okay, he won't, apparently. He's going to stay behind him. Interesting. So, Dollar didn't actually use any of his DRS. He just stayed in the slipstream. Looks like he's confident that the move is near.
the slipstream. Such a long lap. It's like you've got to wait so long for the driver to just come through. But to be fair, the race has gone pretty quickly. So that's good. It's never a boring race in Tier 1. DRS then. Come on, Dolo. You need to get the move. You need to get this move done. Just to, you know, solidify yourself in P4 in the Grand Prix. Right, DRS is being used. He's actually going to hold off the DRS. To free yellow, and that's Ibrahim again. Yep. Currently see Toby catching up to this group. So it is literally Sem, Sleek, Dollar and Joey here. And then you've got Jay Snowy versus Yado. Well, Dollar's been able to save some of that ERS. And it's definitely going to help him in the closing few laps of this Grand Prix. Going on to lap 19 now off the race. And Attila is losing time. So the hards are the better at the moment. So uh, Thala needs to kind of think about that. the hill again I think this is going to be the time that Dalo goes for this move because he's using his overtake mode here we go yeah he's going for it and Sleet's going to have the slip stream as well oh I see I see what's going to happen now so Sleek's got the move done and Sem's up to P6 now So now what I think is going to happen is Sleet's going to hold, try and back up Sem and Joey. And then that way, um, help Tharlo secure this P4. Maybe, I don't know, but we'll see. Seven's in the slipstream. He's gonna really he's gonna go for this. He's just he's just plonked his car there in the middle of the track. And Sem's been taken out nearly. Oh, my God. He's been hit by the back of Joey there. Fucking hell. It's all kicking up. And Crooken is actually catching these, these guys. Crooken is actually catching. The gap's 2.6 now. Jade Snowy has lost the position again to Yale um, Santiago. And Sem has overtaken Sleep Mover. Well, there you go. And Santiago's got a free second time penalty, which means Jay Snowy is going to get ahead of him in this race, which is going to be crucial again for the championship. Joey's also got a penalty as well. And Crooken has, for some reason, lost the position. So I'm not too sure what's happened there.
Right, Sem needs to get... Not Sem, sorry. Sleek needs to get this move done to help Tharlo here. That's what I think the, the, the game plan was for this Grand Prix. Up 21 of the race. And Sem is going to be just out of Tharlo's DRS. Here we go. Up the hill. Come on, Slate, get the move done. DRS. Yeah, it's going to be an easy move. Look at it. Closing, closing, closing. He's going to get the job done. Up to P5. And just to give Thalo another helping hand in the championship. And obviously, Sleek, I believe, is he's back next week at Monza as well. So that's going to be given. You see where Attila was. And Sem has picked up a penalty. Right, well, that is absolutely crucial. Really kicking off tonight. Attila, um, to be fair, to be fair, Attila isn't, isn't even that far off the championship, you know. And him winning tonight... Wait, hang on. 10 points. 97. Hang on. Yeah, Attila isn't even going to be that far off either. Attila ain't going to be that far off the championship either. Hang on. Not a four-way championship. This is mental. Right, anyway, moving on. Final lap of the Belgium Grand Prix here. Uh, I do need the, the, the toilet, so the drivers do need to hurry up and get uh, around this track. Um, yeah, and here we go. Jay Snowy pulls to the inside line, and he's going to get the move done. And that is definitely P2 now for the Mercedes. And Joey has overtaken Sem. And, oh, it's interesting now, because Sleep Mover... Oh, it's all kicking off here, Sam. Oh, bloody hell. What does it always kick off in tier one? Why can't it just not? Do you get it? Like, why can't... <laughs> why can't it just not kick off? Like, why does it need to kick off every week? Right then. Tharlo, come on, use that ERS. Here we go. Sleek needs to keep Sem behind him. That's all what needs to take place here in Belgium. But it is going to be Attila that leads the race. Well, wins the race, rather. And Sem going to try and get the move done. On oh, Sleek, and he's hit the back. Oh, my God. That is crucial for the World Championship. He's got Elizabeth to cook as well. Oh, my God. He's down a P9. He has lost the back end. I cannot believe it. That is P9 for him. Oh, my dear God. Oh, my God. <sighs> Kicking off. I don't know what happened there, but Sleep just lost the back end under breaking. Um, Mafio's going to come through. He was doing a lot of talking before the race as if he was the best driver on the grid, and he's... Uh, well, we're going to finish. Heal it. Okay, that's inter That's interesting. That's very interesting, Mafio. That's interesting, that. That's very interesting, Enter the Grand Prix. Very interesting. Um, 
But yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is Starlow Driver of the Day. That is your Belgium Grand Prix. I don't know what the fuck Matt's doing. Trying to create a whole new circuit um, at Spa. But yes, it is a double Alpine. Oh, hello. That's interesting. It's a double Alpine podium. I don't know what the fuck happened at the end of that race. But it has meant that it has put a major dent in Sem's um, championship fight there, losing that many points. Um, Attila wins, though, which puts him back in it. Um, so that's giving, I suppose. But uh, it is Kiss Attila that wins the Belgium Grand Prix. Absolutely fucking giving. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. Second, Jay Snowy. Third, Darno Four. Uh, fourth, Sleep Mover. Fifth, Joey. Uh, Joey. Sixth, Toby. Seventh, Crooken. Eighth, Semike. Uh, ninth, Callum. Uh, Yade will actually be P3, so ignore that. Uh, it will be Tharo P4 and then all them down there. Uh, and your number finishers were uh, Ibrahim, Brainy Cactus, Mick, the Bird, and, well, Mafio got disqualified, so uh, he's last. Um, yeah. Interesting. I, I don't know if there's going to be any sort of um, stewards investigations with substance because there weren't actually any sort of collision collisions tonight. It was just uh, it was quite a clean race, to be fair. I didn't really see much uh, carnage in terms of people fucking each other up. Um, but yeah, that is your Belgium race. You can join us uh, tomorrow for Tier 2 Belgium with Mafia, and you can join Mafia again on Wednesday for Tier 3 Belgium. But yes, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring live coverage for 10 years. Well, not, you know, whatever. But next week, it is the real deal. It is the 10-year anniversary. It's the 10-year birthday week. The 13th of May, we go to to to, uh, to Monza, the Autodoma Nacional de Monza, for what is going to be the most monumental week of my life as an achievement. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this league for 10 years. It's going to be a whole moment. Um, it's going to be injected. It's going to be crying. It's going to be emotional. You could join us next week for the Tier 1 Italian Grand Prix for the 10-year anniversary. I can't even fucking believe I'm saying that. Finally, it's been it's been months in the waiting. It's actually been months in the waiting. As Michael tried to connect. But yes, it's been, a, it's been months in the waiting. You can join us next week for the Italian Grand Prix. Goodbye.